All right, guys, goose hunting sucked. So we're gonna go ahead, combine this video with a little bit of Zodiac work. Finishing up the uh, plywood deck uh, for it, for the floorboards that are missing. And I did a layer of polyurethane, actually a few layers of uh, polyurethane on each side. But we have to remember, we are going to be doing salt water. So we need to really seal this up here. Uh, so we're gonna use this stuff called Red Guard. This is actually shower liner stuff. As you guys know, I do construction, so I have a lot of construction materials left over. And, uh, you know, in a few years, this is gonna have to get replaced, right? I don't wanna put a huge amount of money into it. I don't wanna go crazy on it, but I do wanna at least last a year or two. So we're gonna go ahead, this polyurethane's all dry. We're gonna go ahead and throw this red guard on, and then we'll go ahead and paint over the red guard because it does actually dry red. Um, and we, when we go duck hunting and stuff, we don't want any red in the boat or anything like that. Give away our position. So we are going to go ahead, get started on this. And then once it's all red guarded and all dried, we'll go ahead and paint it black. So this is one side with red guard on it. We're just gonna let this dry up here. Um, and we'll know it's dry when it turns red pretty much and it just gets super hard and sticky. It's almost kind of like a, uh, a rubber coating or something like that. Um, so we'll let this stick dry up and then we'll do the other side. And then we'll that, once that side is dry, we'll All right, guys, everything's dried on this thing right now, so we're gonna go ahead, just paint it with some Rust-Oleum, and then we'll also throw Rust-Oleum clear coat over it, just to give it that extra layer of shitty protection. I mean, when you're working with salt, um, salt just eats everything. So pretty much the name of the game is layers, and you know, this uh, plywood's been soaked in polyurethane, a few layers, now Red Guard on top of that, and then that red guard, I mean, the red guard stuff is, you know, this is for tile applications, right? That are like constantly getting water. So it's something that can withstand constantly getting water. And so even though the paint on top of it will be very thin and, you know, most likely will go, this red guard will last longer than that paint for when that does happen. And then I can go back and just do touch up paint stuff to help it last a little bit longer. That's pretty much the name of the game. So let's get painting.
All right, guys, I finished it all. I uh, didn't really bore you with the uh, rest of the painting and the rest of the clear coat. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is pretty much bulletproof now. Um, just gonna let this uh, clear coat dry here. So we've got polyurethane, red guard, paint, rust-oleum, and clear coat. That's four layers of stuff. It's gonna take at least a little bit of work for the salt water to eat through this. So. I am uh, not too worried, so all we can do is throw it on the Zodiac and uh, test the Zodiac out, which hopefully I will do this weekend um, because I've got oars and everything. I won't hook up the motor yet because it's not registered, but we can at least test it out and see how it's going. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. And if you haven't, subscribe because now, since everything's done, pretty much ready to go. You're gonna have a lot better fishing trips, a lot better duck hunting trips in the Zodiac. It's gonna be a lot funner. And I think the videos are just gonna end up being a lot better because I definitely wanna go down to Southern California uh, where my in-laws live with this thing, try to go get uh, Yellowtail and Bonita and stuff like that. Um, because now I'm not just, you know, stuck with my kayak and stuff. I can actually throw a motor on this thing, get out a little bit, do some trolling, maybe even catch salmon out of this thing next year. So let's see what happens.